Good afternoon. Welcome to my broadcast. Uh, 4.30 p.m. Pacific time is the starting time. It seems to work for me right now. Although I'm open to later times based on East Coast people who want to see this. Um, let me start at the beginning. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I do these talks every day, which are called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 334 in our going series of talks, so I guess I'm going to go for the year mark at 365. After that, I'm not sure. Um, and today's topic was inspired by news. In latest breaking news from Facebook, um, they are launching, or I should say Mark Zuckerberg, the Zuck announced today, they're launching a dating, I think you call it a feature or a service. It's not an app, but it's a functional part of Facebook. I'm not sure what to say about that. Well, I do. But I'm going <laughs> to talk about this a little bit because I want to, one, talk about the framework of what they're planning to do, that I, I mean, so what their intention is, and about dating apps in general, and particularly for the ladies where this may or may not help you. So let's get into this, shall we? And of course, I do invite your participation, your comments, questions as well along the way. So I'm not sure, it, I don't think the announcement said anything about when this is going to happen, but the announcement was made this morning, I think it was at the developer conference or something like that with Facebook, one of their... Um, meetings, event type things where uh, Senor Zuck decided to announce that they're launching a new feature of Facebook, which is going to be a dating feature. When I first heard it, I burst out laughing. Um, so my initial reaction was that. So I'll explain what I meant, felt at the time, which is why? I mean, I know obviously there's reasons for it, which is money making and other things. So I'm sure it'd be a value added service that you pay for. Because I'm just thinking about this very quickly. If you're doing Facebook ads, for example, as a business, you can pay to target certain demographics. So I suspect the dating apps is a similar function where you pay for the privilege of targeting certain um, characteristics of your possible dates in terms of age, location, stuff like that. Total money maker makes sense. However, <laughs> this is where I'm going to get interesting a bit. First of all, for the ladies watching this, uh, no, no, that'll be second. First of all, I'll get to the second in a moment. First of all, I don't know about you, but in my Facebook circles, I mean the social circles on Facebook, I've seen people connect on Facebook and become friends. I've got a lot of friends I've met in person through Facebook. So I actually made social connections through Facebook and business connections too, and client connections without doing ads. I mean, just because of being on Facebook, there's an opportunity to connect and network to usually a larger group of people than you would do when you're sitting, you know, sitting in a bar or something. So Facebook has an added bonus. Hi, LC. Nice to see you here. Um, it's an opportunity for people to connect. So Facebook, as it stands, regardless of the new feature, is a place where you can meet people and quite a lot of people um, put in their, their um, about status their relationship status, single or not, divorce, whatever that is. So Facebook already has that built-in opportunity to connect with the intention of romance just by who you know and your so social friends, social circle. And not only that, you have the ability to ask your friends to hook, connect with people they may think would be a good match for you. So that's already built in. So to have a feature that's new that's coming out, which may or may not be a fee-based structure, seems maybe a bit late to the, late to the party in a way. Because if you've been on Facebook for more than a couple of years, you've noticed there are people out there Looking for matches, it's kind of like built in. The other part, which is the second part, I'll get to the second, I'll get a second point on this. <laughs> I've got a third one brewing already. Is most of the dating apps out there, and I've been on a few myself, yes, I do explore the dating apps as a personal experience, tie in your Facebook friends to the conversation. So if you're on um, Hinge or Coffee, and, Coffee and Meets Bagel, and I think maybe Tinder does too, I'm not on Tinder, so I don't know. Usually when you see somebody in those apps, it may list your common friends on Facebook. So you can actually do your research if you want to, to say, okay, tell me about that person. You're interested in them, but you want your friend's perspective just so you don't get into some crazy situations. So Facebook's already very prevalent in the dating arena, either directly because you meet people in social network or because the apps you use tie into Facebook so you know your common friends. So you can get to meet people that way. So this, the benefits of this feature, um, if it's free, 
could be fun to have that actual intentional aspect for Facebook to present. At the same time, if it's fee-based, obviously it's a, um, what's someone looking for? A way for them to monetize, of course. Now, here's the question I'm going to ask you. After the recent um, congressional hearings and the Cambridge Analytica scandals, it's clear that Facebook hasn't been above board with its use of personal information. So if they're providing a, a dating feature, what information are you willing to give them, unless it's clearly, that you don't worry about it coming back to bite you? And if you do that, because they may be asking some personal questions about you. I don't know. Again, this is a new feature. It hasn't been even rolled out. It's just been announced today by, by Zuck. So whether or not there's going to be a functional feature that, or, or a functional tool that will need time from you, well, based on how they've proven that their ability to hold on to your data securely hasn't been very um, above board, do you feel safe doing that in romantic settings? Just a question. But here's the piece I want to drop in here because this is, this, this is where my work comes into this conversation. Ladies, if you're watching this, I want to make this clear to you. Whether or not Facebook's dating function is really good or not, using it as your primary method to meet a man is an error in approach. Yes, it's an error in approach. I mentioned before about all the other dating apps that are using Facebook um, connections to let you know who your mutual friends are, stuff like that. Same is true of those apps too. So not just Facebook dating feature, whatever it's going to be called, as well as any other apps. Ladies, let me make this point clear to you. If you're a single woman looking for a relationship, it doesn't start with using an app. Now, you can use an app as part of the toolkit as you use it as a resource because your chance for you to scan and pursue, uh, peruse, let me pursue, don't go there. I'll talk about that in a second too. To peruse and to scan and see what's out there in terms of possible mates. The key trap though, let me say this another way. Unless Facebook presents a different model than it's been done before, they're going to ap appeal to one main demographic, the men. As of now, Facebook is generally slanted for that if men are looking, it, let me put it this way, people looking to get in a relationship, it's usually men using Facebook to find women rather than women using Facebook to find men. That's the majority of, of, of the um, swing, the leaning to that. Um, can you take out a personal ad in the paper? <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Nice to see you here, by the way. Um, yes, you can. That's that's old school. <laughs> and you and I know that stuff probably because we've been around more than 20 years. We know more than that. Um, but the millennials may not understand that. <laughs> Funny. But here's the thing. And speaking to that in the direction of what I'm talking about for women, ladies, yes, in a sense, putting out a personal ad in the paper, just not going on the, on the dating apps, is an error in approach. So let me let me put this, this this sequence out clearly for you ladies who are watching this. And thank you for that inspiration, Donna. I appreciate that. If you're a woman who is single looking for love, it doesn't start with you looking for love. Does that sound confusing to you? The way that the dating apps, and again, like Facebook's marketing might be set up for, <laughs> no one reads the newspaper, true. But there are online personal ads, you know. I mean, Craigslist has it, I think Craigslist used to, and it still do, you know? But Craigslist had, an, um, had a dating, like, uh, man-seeking man, man-seeking woman, woman-seeking man, et cetera, et cetera, section in their um, website. So there was an online version of that. So equivalent of personal ads. Let me get to my train of thought. It was in there. Ah, ladies. The dating apps and the function that the Facebook app may, may provide too are structured for a masculine approach, which is to go... Hunting, scanning, seeking, pursuing, looking for. That isn't the way that the functional, that the feminine really works. And ladies, you may already know this, but I want to make sure you get this clearly. For most of you ladies out there who are seeking a relationship, you're more likely to find it when you're in your feminine first. So doing the pursuit energy, it puts you in a masculine, which is out of alignment. But if you want to attract a really amazing relationship, and that was the key word, attract an amazing relationship, you got to learn how to attract. Makes common sense, I trust. If you're like most, if you're like several of the women I dated, <laughs> so and some of my clients, there's a tendency to take on the masculine mantle, as it were, to attempt to find a relationship. It's the way it is. But for ladies watching, I hope you get this. And for them, you're watching, if you know this, I've already spoken about this, and you've probably seen these talks about this. Your your key strength, your key um, power 
is in your ability to attract what you want. You know, in some ways I would say the law of attraction is almost built for women. It's almost built for the feminine. Because it's about attracting to you what you want. For the men, masculine, ourselves, our, sorry, she knows. <clears throat> I not want to sneeze on camera. For us men, the focus is to go out and pursue, to hunt, to go looking for what we want and go out there and chase it. But when you ladies do the same thing, which is when you swipe on apps or you look through different dating apps, you're doing what the men are doing, which puts you in your masculine, which means that you're going to be in occupying the space that you want your man to be in. And I talked about this on Saturday. If you didn't watch that broadcast, which was number 331. Yes, 331. Please go watch that. That's, that's, that's homework. Go watch 331. That was about... Um, Ladies, why you might be dating weak men. And I explain what this is the problem in that one in a much deeper way. And I talk about musical chairs, which is a whole other conversation. Watch it and find out. In this one, my intention to educate you, to in, in, inform you, and to inspire you is start by getting clear about who you are and what you want. So don't even look at the apps. You're not even going out there yet. It's all in here. Ladies, your strength is in attraction, as I mentioned. The law of attraction really is bias towards the feminine. When you ladies occupy the space, and this is another piece, by the way, just dropping another bombshell in your laps. Because a lot of you ladies are not in your feminine. You've been in your masculine because of your business. You've been trained by the way the side is structured to copy the men and be like men in work. And when you come home or when you go on dates, you don't, you don't um, release that, act, act, that, that position. And unfortunately, when you do that, it's going to end up becoming challenging to be in a relationship because it's two masculine energies fighting for space and it doesn't work. So the, the um, key or the best starting point, suggestion of you ladies, is start with who you are and where you are and what you want. What I mean is the resource place you have inside as a woman in your feminine is a place of attraction. As I mentioned, law of attraction, feminine bias brings things into you. We men can do that, but we have to occupy the feminine energy to pull it in. It's Because again, or I didn't say it yet, but in this broadcast I haven't said it, or I said it before, all of us, men and women, carry both masculine and feminine energy within us. But we tend to be more lean towards one side or the other, naturally, more masculine or more feminine. Generally speaking, more men are more masculine by nature. Generally speaking, more women are feminine by nature. However, we've been trained to do other things. And many of you ladies have been trained to put your masculine forward and do that, which messes up your love life. I can tell you that because several of my clients and a few of my past relationships have proven that to me. And my work is to help you get into feminine. And it's a real gift, I feel, to serve the feminine heart to help women own that power. Because when you do that, first of all, you don't hurt yourself anymore because most women who are in the masculine are actually destroying their systems energetically. I have a friend of mine who's dealing with that with her clients in Orange County. When she's so caught up in that paradigm because women are burning out their adrenals and their hormones are getting out of balance because they're in the masculine too much. So ladies, for your health and for your vitality and for your success and for your life, please learn how to be in the resource state to attract what you want. It's not idle and it's not um, what I was looking for. It's not a do nothing place. It's actually a very it's a very active place, but it's a place of resource that you pull in what you want. So these dating apps and Facebook's dating function that's coming out are great to use once you've got clear about what you want. And then how you approach it is a different story too, because again, this is part of the challenge. Is it's tempting when you get on those apps to go out and go, Oh, they're nice, oh they're nice, I'll chase them down, chase them down. Don't do that. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't inspire you and puts you into your masculine, which takes you out of your heart, out of your center, unfortunately. Those apps are great resources. Now, how you play with those apps, that's, that's, that's going to be probably talk another time, but I'll give you a little sense of that. First of all, get clear about what you want. Well, get clear about who you are as a woman, what honors you, what, what serves you, and what sort of man truly you deserve and desire, because it's much better than you've been playing it, I, I would suspect. Secondly, when you have the energy going and you build up, you build the attraction energetic, you build the magnetic pull, so you become able to pull in that energy to yourself. Because when you do go out socially, online, on these apps, your radar, your inner resonance, your, your magnetism will pull in what you want. It works that way. Trust me. I've worked with enough clients to see that and know that. When you're on those apps, the key thing is to remember to be invitational, not to be hunting. It's a shift, probably for some of you ladies out there, be on these apps. You invite, you inquire, you, you become um, attracting in and let the man do the work. 
Yes, let the man do the work. I'm outing the men on this one. It's our job, our role, our responsibility as masculine men to pursue and court. Remember that word from way back when? To court a woman. Courtship is a, is a becoming a lost art, it seems like, because the truth is courtship in the old days, before there was technology and before there were dating apps and personal ads in the paper, for that matter. Thank you for that one again, Donna. The courtship was based upon a man would court a woman. That's how it worked. A woman would court a man. There were rebe rebellious women who did. That's another story. But again, having it from my own experience in the past, which is what put me on this work, so I'm just let you know from personal experience, I was courted by women. And it sounds flattering, but it ruined our relationships. All three of them, in fact, were ruined by this. In fact, the last one, obviously, even though the sex was amazing, and the chemistry was too, the problem was she was in a masculine, I was in my feminine. Didn't even know it at the time because I wasn't in alignment to my true self. And I didn't, I didn't take responsibility for my role because she took it over and I wasn't going to fight her for it. If I was smarter, I would have done that. And I said, lady, sit down, let me run the show in the, in the courtship energetic. Because by doing that, and I don't mean as, as a control thing, but as a leadership place to step in a place where I would court her, she could be in a feminine and she actually would blossom and she would be in a much healthier place for herself and I'd be in a more authentic place in my, myself too. So didn't plan to go all there, but now you've got me on that. Now I've now exposed myself to you. <laughs> so ladies who are watching this, this is my um, invitation to you. Be invitational yourself. This is something that I, I, I mean, I have an online program called this, called Track the Man You Want. In my coaching with my clients, it's a lot about how do, we, how do I help you learn how to become a magnetic to attract what you want. And a lot of that work is heart-centered. It's not app-centered. So this new Facebook feature that's coming out, um, I, said, I wouldn't say don't get your hopes up. You might want to play with it and have fun with it. But just remember that like any of the dating apps, it's no different in that sense. It's not set up for women. It's set up for men. Because they're set up to display all these possible targets to hunt, pursue, which the masculine is built to do. And if you want to be any masculine, ladies, which doesn't serve you, that's the only way this app's are going to work for you. So I think I dropped about five different keys in there that you can use. Hopefully you can sift through the story to, to get the details from it. But this is my point. You have this ability to attract what you want in all areas of life, but also in relationship. Tune into your power to attract. Tune into your inner gifts and learn how to use that as a natural ability because one, it puts you in your feminine naturally and secondly, you actually attract what you want. If you have questions about that, reach out to me. Um, I do offer a, a complimentary clarity conversation. My gift to you is a discovery session. It's on my website. You go to, to barryselby.com, which is my website, barryselby.com. Click on the Let's Chat um, menu choice and sign up for that there as a gift. It's 30 minutes of my time, my service to you, and my... Um, counsel to support you where you want to go i hope this makes sense to you and this has been a value this is this is it's an important piece of information even though it sounds all oh, exciting facebook's doing something else and again just like what happened with cambridge analytica be careful how you handle these apps don't just give your information away because um, unless you don't care about it but if you care about your privacy and your personal information you might want to be a little bit cautious about how much information you give out in this area especially so with that um, hmm, think about homework if you haven't watched my broadcast before by the way I do this every day and usually during the weekdays especially I give homework but before I get to that um, this is number 334 in an ongoing series of daily talks called Face Facebook Lives called Message from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart if you haven't watched my other ones please do so you can catch them on my business page on Facebook which is barryselby.author you can also watch them on my YouTube channel because these end up over there which is Barry Selby is the, is the, the channel and Messages to the Masculine is the playlist. And also my website, which again is barryselby.com. You can click on the video blog to find out more about those there. Although that page loads very slowly, so you might stick to Facebook. Um, homework. Oh, and by the way, if you want to share this with anybody who hasn't seen this yet, please share it with them. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond later on. And if you want help, again, reach out to me. Oh, Cheryl, you're very welcome. Thanks for your comment. Thanks for your feedback, and thanks for watching. And if you have questions about this, please reach out to me. Um, your homework, ladies in particular, men can do this too. Um, here we go. I had to wait for it to drop in. If you are ready for a relationship, ask yourself what that looks like. 
actually ask yourself what that feels like and if it looks like your homework tonight is to sit with that and I'm, I'm inviting you if you're single and you've been looking for love wanting love and feeling like the relationship is out there take some time at some point tonight you can journal about it you can just imagine it you can meditate on it you can however you want to do this sit with what it is for you that is a healthy quality uplifting inspiring fulfilling amazing relationship and if you're really bold message me what you what you what you decide what you've written down i'll be curious to know that's your homework and men and women can both do this um thank you for watching thanks for being with me thanks for the comments as always and again if you have any questions or comments you're watching the replay please put them below and i'll respond later on and once again if you want to get some help in this area reach out to me that's what i'm here for uh, barryselby.com forward slash chat is the link to go to the um, complimentary clarity conversation and uh, well, you're welcome sure thank you um, and I hope I'm glad to support you and uh, I think that's about it we'll see what that comes forward I mean that was Zuckerberg's um, announcement today we'll see what rolls out from that but again be cautious thanks for watching I'll be back again tomorrow with number 335 I'm not sure what it's going to be about yet we'll see what shows up in the news tomorrow Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.